I'm Kipley Brown. And I'm Matt Harris. Here's our top story. On Saturday, Mitt Romney announced that Paul Ryan was his choice for vice presidential running mate. Ryan's chief qualification? Not being Sarah Palin. <laughs> After exiting a hardware store, Mitt Romney said he purchased hardware stuff. <laughs> Later, after exiting a bank, Mitt Romney said he was doing illegal stuff. <laughs> President Obama is hosting a campaign event where donors can meet Michael Jordan. To counter, Mitt Romney is having a fundraiser with the coolest guy he knows with his own shoe line, Dr. Schultz. <laughs> A 100-foot section of the Great Wall of China has collapsed, commented a Mongolian. How's a chance attack? Mongolians, where are you? The Penn State football team is adding blue ribbons to their jerseys to show support for victims of child abuse. Among the rejected ideas was a new football helmet logo featuring Joe Paterno looking the other way. <laughs> Papa John's Pizza CEO John Schnatter said that Obamacare will, be, will force him to charge customers 14 cents more for pizza. He pulled that number out of his ass, say sources, but it still tastes better than Papa John's pizza. <laughs> Thursday night marked the first time a female referee has officiated a game in the NFL. Commented the referee. Things got pretty awkward when one of the players asked me why he was being penalized. And I was like, if you don't know what you did, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment news is our own. Cosmo Coenga. <laughs> Hello. Neil Young and Foo Fighters will perform a concert at New York Central Park. Also appearing at Central Park will be the Spin Doctors, because that's where they all live now. <laughs> Randy Travis crashed a Pontiac Trans Am and was found intoxicated, naked, and threatening to shoot state troopers. <laughs> Commented Jeff Foxworthy. If you wreck your Trans Am and the troopers show up to you drunk yelling you're going to kill them and naked, then you are going to go to prison for a <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> Foxworthy out. <laughs> On Sunday, Elton John said that Madonna's career is over and that she looks like a fairground stripper, which means there is exactly one gay guy who doesn't like Madonna. <laughs> uh, and finally, Dustin Hoffman turned 75 on Wednesday. So now, when an older woman tries to seduce him, it's just really fucking gross. <laughs> You're welcome! Thank you, Cosmo! You're welcome! Michael Phelps is dating a part-time model, Megan Rossi. So, apparently, 22 medals isn't quite good enough for a supermodel. <laughs> While visiting London for the Olympics, U.S. tourists have been introduced to a popular coffee drink made with espresso and milk called a flat white. In return, U.S. tourists have introduced Londoners to something even more common in America, a fat white. <laughs> <laughs> is launching a line of men's socks at Neiman Marcus, commented Rob Kardashian. Making a line of socks was only natural, you know, the Kardashian family, because when teen boys think of my sister Kim, they usually reach for the closest sock. <laughs> I'm a douche! <laughs> Heard. Yeah. <laughs> There's a new sound.
sandwich at the Indiana State Fair called the Elvis Burger, which is a fried hamburger with bacon, banana, and peanut butter served on a raspberry-filled donut. It's called the Elvis Burger because anyone who eats it is also expected to die on a toilet. <laughs> A Louisiana high school is trying to require female students to take pregnancy tests, said a member of the Louisiana school board. We feel very confident in giving these girls these tests. After all, it's the only state test in Louisiana where the kids get positive results. <laughs> A Taco Bell employee in Indiana was fired after tweeting a photo of himself urinating on a plate of nachos. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> the company says that if the man wanted a job where he could pee in his workplace, he should have been an Olympic swimmer. <laughs> or R. Kelly. Oh. <laughs> There. Two Pennsylvania men who were arrested for committing robbery claimed that the incident was staged for a reality show called You Just Got Robbed. <laughs> Upon being placed in jail, their cellmates said that they were also making a reality show called You Just Got Sodomized. <laughs> Oh. 